In this video, we're going to solve a particular problem which appeared in the year 2019 J advanced paper. So first understand the problem statement. So here sees that we have a hotel and in the hotel there are four rooms is available and we have to accommodate six person. Now we have to find right the number of ways this can be possible but only one condition is provided that each room have at least one person and at most two person that means no room can be cannot be empty okay and no room cannot have more than two people right that's it so we can easily understand that six people four room right so therefore i consider that there are four room itself right so we have four room right let's consider that so these are the four rooms so we can have every every places have one room right now the remaining two percent right can be filled in such way that one person here so therefore it changed by two another person here it will be changed by two so therefore in the room we have two room have having two people and one room right a two room have one people each okay that's it let's go ahead and solve this particular problem so now here the number of room is four and number of person is six so this six person need to be accommodated in the four rooms let us consider the persons are a b c d here like just arbitrary we put some name now what is the condition of arrangement it says that that each room have at least one or at most two people okay that's it so we consider few rooms right so we consider the five rooms right that's it now first as each and every uh, room have one people each right so first i just randomly put one people right in each and every room right so that's why we assume that each room right are uh, have one person each and let's say they be a b c d okay the four person now these four per people right out of six people right uh, need to be chosen right because any four right because i choose a b c d for you, you may choose like B, C, D. Someone may choose D, E, F, A, right? Any combination is possible, right? So therefore, these four people at the beginning can be choose, right? In six, C, four ways. That's obvious. Now, whenever these six people or the four people is selected here, A, B, C, D, right? They can rearrange themselves, right? Because maybe in the first room, I place D, you place uh, second A, uh, then B C right something then maybe C A B D okay any combination is possible because they can also arrange themselves because each room are having some number in hotel room right so they are not distinct right that's it let's go ahead so therefore this selected people four people can rearrange themselves in factorial four ways right so how many ways these two uh, cases can be done it will be 64 multiplied by factorial 4 but that is not all we we only consider right the first condition right that at least one people now we have to taste uh, apply the condition for at most two people so that's why we consider that fit people right e can accommodate in any one of the four rooms what that means suppose i talk about that fifth person is e so this e i can put it in first <coughs> first room second room third room fourth room any places i can place right so this can be done in four ways so the fifth people right okay are placed in four uh four ways, right now here i say that i denote it as e and all that so here e is not uh constant right because i'm just renaming it as e that's it only. okay and the what about the six people right so the six people f right now where the six people can be placed now if e is placed in first place right so then f can be put in the remaining three places now if e is placed in the last box right so then f must be filled in first three boxes right so whatever may be right if e is placed e must be placed or the fifth people must be placed in some particular room out of the four so therefore the F must be placed in three rooms, remaining three rooms, except the room where E is accommodated or the fifth people is accommodated. So therefore, the possibility is three. So hence, now we give it all the uh, six people in the different four, 
uh, all the six people in different rooms, right? And that's fine. So now we say that, so therefore the total arrangement will be uh, factorial four multiplied by four and multiplied by three, that's it. But there is a small problem here. So what's that problem? Now we forget about this one, right? So here, uh, let's go ahead and understand the problem statement, right? So here it says that, right, that one combination. So I consider that first two box of a root is AB, next two box is CD, and then it will be uh, uh, CD is done, E and F, right? That is possible. Now see that in this particular problem, right, that AB in the room one. Now AB can be also in room two, right? And that rearrangement is not accepted here, right? Because that obvious, right? And also if you think in other way, right? That the combination of the number of people in the room are one, one, two, two. So these are the number of people is there. Now see that if I need to rearrange themselves, right? So here, two, one, number of people are repeated and double two is repeated, right? So that's why what should I have to do? We have to divide by the concept of the repetition permutation, right? We have to divide by if n1, n2, n3 other terms are repeated, so we have to divide by factorial two, factorial two itself, right? So therefore here, that as the number of people are in the form of one, one, two, two, or maybe two, two, one, one, that means two, two are repeated and two, one is repeated. So therefore the possible arrangement will be divided by factorial two and factorial two itself. So then we obtain the total possible arrangement. So this is the understanding of computation combination in a little bit trickier way because that's the problem. Now, obviously, the last step we have to calculate the value, right? Let's go ahead. So now, first here we compute that 6c4. So it will be by using the definition. It's factorial 6 divided by factorial 4 and factorial 2. Now, CC 6 can factorial 6 written as 6 into 5 into 4, then 4, 4, 8 cancel, and then it will be 15. Factorial 4, well known, it is 24. So therefore, if we put that appropriate places, right, now see that 2, 2, 4 are cancelled. So therefore, the final answer 15 into 24 into 3, which gives me that 1080. And that's it. So therefore, the total number of uh, ways that six person can be put in in the four hotel rooms will be 1080. And that's it. Hope you understood the problem. There are many ways to solve this problem. At least two I know it. So maybe in, uh, uh, we can try those methods later. Okay, that's it. Thank you.